what's what's up next then then martin are we going to do uh, the i think we're going to do the the, the chrome add-on from yeah spencer thank you do you want to go spencer yeah all right so um last month we talked about um, an extension that was put out by a, a guy named Leon Hart uh, for uh, GitHub. It adds GitHub uh, capability to the IDE. So what I did is I looked, he, uh, he released his extension open source um, on GitHub. So I took a look at the code and I realized that it's actually not that difficult to uh, be able to add um, additional functionality to the IDE. So I, I, uh, took his code and I modified it and I added the ability um, to add um, a toggle to this side. Let me, uh, let me add my, share my screen real quick. So, um, so right now with, with my extension, you usually have this big, huge bar on the side and it takes up most of your, your space. So you, your code is getting pushed off to the side and you have this big list of files that you only need to look at once in a while. So I was, you know, I always deal with like dragging it over and dragging it back. And so what I did is I added a sm made a small little extension. It adds this button in the top left and you can click on it and it makes your, and it makes the sidebar just hide. And if you ever need it, you just drag your mouse to the left and it pops out. And so it just adds a nice little auto hide feature to this and uh, gives you more space to work on. And especially, you know, if, you know, there's already a, a compact view. So you can actually start getting a nice big full uh, work environment without so much clutter around the top and the bottom and sides um, by using this extension. Um, if you can find it, it's in the, uh, the Chrome web store. You can install it directly from there. It, it installs there and then again, it, I, if you look on my GitHub, it's on my, the source is on my GitHub. And if you want to look at the original, which this is based upon, you can always look at uh, Leon's GitHub for uh, Gas GitHub, and you can you can dig through that code if you're inclined to look on this, and you can see that uh, it's really not that it doesn't take too much to be able to add additional functionality um, to the IDE to 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 modify it to your needs. But this only works on Chrome, right? This is this is a Chrome extension yeah. only. Yeah. Which is which is uh, I don't know. I'm I'm guessing that most people that use App Script use Chrome anyway. But um, you know, I think yeah. I think one so, of the issues is if you if you start to rely too many too many times on cut off some people who are not necessarily doing that. So, Spencer, there was an announcement not too long ago about Chrome Web Store changing disappearing. Or something. Hey. Yeah. So that is not going to be for extensions. Okay. Um, extensions are still our Chrome extensions are still going to be supported. Um, what they're talking about is Chrome apps. Chrome apps is that was a different beast altogether than extensions and themes. Um, Add-ons uh, fall under the extensions kind of uh, realm. So. Chrome apps is, uh, they were standalone programs that were packaged and distributed through the Chrome store. Some of them are, you know, were written in, you know, native C++, you know, and compiled to an app. Um, those are going to be disappearing in a few years. Uh, I know they're going to stick around on Chromebooks for a while, then they're going to be phased out there. But they've made no mention about removing extensions, which I would say 98% of everything on the Chrome web store is an extension. Okay, I think that's great. I mean, it's a, it, you know, if you can if you can get more screen space out of the ID, I think that's a, a really good thing. And there was another guy who who uh, a Chrome extension a little while ago about being able to change the the skin of your ID as well, which uh, some people like. Correct. And that so I think that you know I think the idea of having a kind of a um, a place that we can put together a list of things that help to make the IDE better in an organized way, I think it would be a good a good thing to do. Well, that, that's actually something that I've been looking and tinkering with is if you, you know too many extensions get into the IDE, you're going to start getting a messy IDE. So I was thinking of maybe uh, possibly kind of getting together and kind of developing kind of like a unified 
way of uh, almost like a plug-in structure for the IDE. So where yeah, I think that, that would be fantastic. Would yeah, be really the, so I've been actually playing around with with a plugin, uh, you know, basically making a plugin extension and then having the these apps as kind of add-ons that you add to the the plugin. And uh, I, I've got some interesting interesting results on that already. So that might be something I can release. Maybe maybe I'll even get to for the next next one. Yeah, I think that would be wonderful for the next uh, some release. Thanks, Spencer. That's good. Yeah. So we we watch with interest. Um, so we, yeah, we'll put links up as well for people to find that extension, uh, dig into the code. Well, I'm conscious that um, uh, for Bruce, it's getting increasingly gloomy. For me, I'm almost why is there. It getting, why is it getting gloomy? For, oh, you mean on my thing? It is, isn't it? Bruce, <laughs> put the light on. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering um, what you meant by that. The, uh, <laughs> for Spencer, he's been for me anyway blacked out for the whole show. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> so I think we might call it a wrap there. And um, thanks, uh, Bruce and uh, Spencer for their bits and pieces. Thanks, Rudy, as well for coming along and um, your contributions. We'll be back uh, next month. <laughs> anyway, thanks, everyone. We'll catch you next time. Thanks, Bon. Thanks, Pencil. Thanks, Trudy. Bye. Bye.